Did you say drive fast, speed turns me on? Is that what you just said? That's what I said, yeah. Colin, do you ever get that not so fresh feeling? <laughs> no. No, I do not. So our boy Arian had his baby. Baby's name is Amelia. Oh, he had a second girl, right? That's what his yeah, name is. Yeah, he's gonna have to fucking have another one now. He might <laughs> get a boy out of there somewhere. God, um, I'm girls. sure he did most of the hard work, although I'm sure Naomi participated. <laughs> so, congratulations. In the labor. <laughs> Dude, I, uh, I don't ever look at newsbook feed ever. So, like, I knew you guys were pregnant. I had no idea you were this far pregnant. And, uh, Arian, he hit me up asking for a diaper bag the other day and I fucking printed it out handed it to Heather and I wrote soonish which means you know like in the next few days next week or so I didn't realize they were having a baby yesterday or today so uh, sorry we missed the diaper bag congratulations on the baby and we will have your diaper bag out sometime this week and uh, it'll be very cool it's going to be multi-cam black the black multi-cam material oh, that's cool black webbing and handles and velcro and man, this fool's out in the fucking know, like, highway. He wants to be close. And uh, we're gonna put a, a subdued, a red zipper on there. It will be pretty cool. He's real into the can and stuff, the black with the red yeah, line. Neat. So uh, it'll be neat. We'll build up some other pieces to go with that. And uh, congratulations, guys. And um, Colin and I are on the way to the gym. truck I used to just get up in there now I get on the step and get up in there and when we moved here I used to just kind of run and skip up on the dock just jump up there and now we have stairs that I use <laughs> fucking 43 like the doctor always told me like you'll feel this as you get older and they're right I feel some of that shit like yeah. broken bones and joints and shit like that ski injuries motorcycle shit and uh, motocross like that's fucking starting to take its toll as you get older. Seems like a joke, but I'm only 28 and I'm, I can definitely feel some of the more significant injuries that I've had whenever yeah. I whenever I do something else that causes injury, it seems like those are also like, oh yeah, just as a reminder. Yeah, and it, as you get older, and I don't, I guess it's just, you get wise, you know. They always said, you know, it'll make, you don't have, you'll, you'll understand as you get older. And, um, I see what that means. Like we got the chainsaws out, we make it a effort to have you know medical equipment with us and tourniquets, and tourniquet on the saw, just like carrying a scrunch. You definitely look at that shit, and um, I guess it's just a sign of maturing. Like when you have full insurance on all of your shit, and you have a really good medical insurance policy, and you're happy about it. That's just I guess a sign of growing up. Yeah. So. Uh, They're riding with their blinker on. That's because Joey's driving. He oh, drives. That he is got the it. slowest motherfucker in the world. He's uh, he was probably. Yeah, that's what he's there. Thinking. He goes. He's getting in the slow um, lane. Like all big trucks are supposed to stop at all train tracks. That's how Joey drives. Joey will stop at all train tracks. It's like driving a school bus, except it's not. Right. <laughs> he st stops extra long at everything. And Heather doesn't drive because she will get tickets. Yeah, she's a rage driver. So here we are stuck behind. I know, look, they're driving the same speed. We got another one, and then we got fucking gravel here. Yeah. Those, those tractors and the logging shit comes out of there and it just fucking yeah, takes it all with it into the road. That's a nice building they just put up. Church, right? Church. Church is the, uh, the biggest business around here, followed by death.
Pepsi distribution center or something. I like ours better. I like ours just because the location is tucked off. You can't yeah. see it, 10 acres. It's not right on the road like yeah. that. And we got, you know, 100 or so acres behind us that's just, you know, woods. So. This is actually a pretty enjoyable ride. It's a nice ride through here. You get, um, you do get some um, troopers. Yeah. So you gotta, you gotta watch your speed. They are here. One thing I didn't know from coming from Middle Tennessee to West Tennessee was the troopers back home will pull you over if you're doing about 10 to 15 over and they'll start to get you. But here, I've been pulled over several times for five over, six over, and I got my last state trooper ticket that I got was for 10 over. It depends. Which I, I do understand, like there is a line you draw, so like speeding is speeding, however, stop driving while brown. Yeah. You get stopped because you drive a donk. Yeah, but like I don't and have big... And you have tinted windows. Yeah. If you had a fucking uh, a car, like your car is an ex-police car. And people around here, you know, shit bags drive that. Yours is nice. Yours is very clean and not like most of them. But most of them have fucking the lights on. Yeah. Dudes buy that shit because they want people to think they're cops. Mm -hmm. That shit might have worked for a week until fucking cops realized that shit was going on. Yeah. But if you got a truck, you wouldn't get stopped. It's we come through here, I mean, I, I drive 15, 20 over, and often we don't get stopped. Sometimes, you know, we get pulled over and I pay my ticket. But a lot of times, you don't. You're getting stopped because of the car you're driving. Yeah. It's kind of good. They know, they expect a brown dude to be inside that fucking thing. And, and sure enough. And sure enough, there is one. Lucky for them. How many, time, how many times have you been pulled over, though? And they see the SOE sticker on, they're like, oh, you work out at SOE? Yep, that's definitely happened twice. Yeah. And they pulled me over and were like, oh, you work out at the shop? Yeah, it was just down there, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, okay, well, we wrap this up. I don't know who the other dude is. One of the dudes, I won't name him. One of the dudes is a, a good friend. Um, yeah, both are really nice. We got, we do have some, and they we have some awesome local law enforcement. And, um, you know, we got a lot of area for a, for a very few cops. And, um... Uh, you know, big city guys watching this, you know, you think, ah, oh, that's so backwards or whatever. Um, our cops fucking work hard. We don't have, you know, a lot of fucking murder and, and the gang violence and shit that you do in big cities. But we do have a, a vast amount of territory to cover and a very limited budget. And um, we don't have a big police force, but our, our guys, they can, they work consistently and they work a lot. And they do a fucking good job for, for the resources they have on mm -hmm. that. Troopers, they'll pull you over, give you a ticket, and you'll fucking feel good about it. Like, they've got some good yeah. human relations training on how to interact with the public. Because they'll come right the fuck up to you and be smiling, and, and they'll hand you that ticket, and you'll sign it, and you're like, thank you. Yeah, the gentleman that gave me mine was, uh, he was older. Like, I felt like I was talking to my grandfather, and he, like, he was like, yeah, well, you're, I was out there in, uh, towards, uh, Huntington, but going towards Jackson, but. How was the football game? Little yeah, like, he was just chit-chatting away, and he's like, all right, well, this is not an admission of guilt, and if you'll just sign right here, I was like, oh, man. But. Well, all right. <laughs> About. We're coming up on that new building. Where's that new building at? The one that we always look at? Yeah. It's on the left up here. Right think. up here? Yeah. Turn that camera on. Off? On. Is it it's on? on. Yeah. So we're coming up on this building here, and it's a, a building that sells building supplies. They just built two buildings. And I, I really like the way this looks. And I think this is kind of how we're going to make ours look when we go to redo all the paint and stuff. It's kind of a gray with the, the lighter gray roof with the stone and tile work and the stamped concrete. It's very nice. I don't know if you can see it from over yeah. here. But uh, when we start doing some of the outside uh, build-out, that's kind of the look we're going to